Hi guys and welcome to my new YouTube channel. I decided to create the channel in order to provide some assistance and uh, just a, a forum to talk about technology, operating systems, uh, and a lot of Linux. And so uh, I welcome you to the channel. I'll be providing content on a regular basis. And uh, having said that, Let's let's start with my first topic, and that is Linux Lite. Now they just released a 2.6 beta, which I downloaded last night. I had a little trouble with the install based on the fact that they do not have an EFI install available. So um, I struggled a little bit with the um, legacy install because I was actually adding it to a disk within a computer that I'm triple booting. So I have another Linux distribution. I have uh, Windows 10 and this was an empty disk, a solid state drive, 120 gig that I had. Finally, in order to get it to install and boot properly, I had to unplug the other two hard drives and reboot from the USB, install to the empty SSD and lo and behold it booted and I'm a happy camper. So well, to begin with I'm not sure if you're familiar with uh, Linux Lite but they've been around for quite a while. Um, Jerry uh, if you go over to their website linuxliteos.com they have a wonderful forum where you can get all kinds of assistance and Jerry, who's the lead designer, uh, he, I think he's the, uh, the uh, energy behind the distribution. Uh, he uh, is helpful also. And so if you post a question on the website, you may even get a response from him. He's e extremely helpful. I have discussed my uh, opinion on the EFI install, which I believe they should incorporate. So hopefully at, at some point in the future, they'll consider that. It sure will make install a lot easier on uh, modern equipment. But in the meantime I do have it installed, very happy with it. They do have uh, some uh, new features that have been added to 2.6 uh, from 2.4. Now keep in mind 2.6 is still a beta so I would not install it on your day-to-day -day production machine but uh, if you want to uh, take a look at it you can boot it live from the USB and take a look and see if it's something that you might enjoy using on a daily basis I know in my opinion it's one of the best uh, distributions for your day-to-day -day because it can handle pretty much anything let me take a look at, at some of the features now it runs the uh, whisker menu XFCE set up pretty much typical uh, categories on the left, uh, all of the various packages on the right. Now I've added some things uh, and they also make it very easy for you to add new software. So I'll go over some of the, the key points but uh, if you're familiar with XFCE you won't have any trouble with this. Okay so if we look at the some of the uh, interesting uh, let's take a look at appearance. It comes with four themes out of the box. Mediterranean Light, Mediterranean White, Raleigh, and Zukitwu Dock Reloaded. Now this dock theme is new for 2.6. It's excellent. It's excellent. If you take a look at it, uh, it's uh, the, the panel um, is dark. Um, they also have icons. If you like the dock panel, I would suggest you go with Humanity Dark because it does highlight the various system tray icons makes them a little bit easier to see. But I will go back to the standard out-of-the-box configuration. Uh, the next thing I, I wanted to show you is the control center. This is new with uh, 2.6. See down on the left here this little icon with the red button brings up the Linux Lite control center. Now if you take a look it's got several tabs along the left. Each one of them uh, has a, an interesting and important uh, purpose. My computer gives you all the information that you need to know about your computer along with links to various social media. 
You can also take a screenshot. Very, very helpful. Uh, there's a link to their forum, link to their website, and help. Now they have an extensive help menu. If you go to the website, you'll find that it, the way it's set up, if you uh, click on the help uh, section, they have so many categories for help that uh, I'm pretty sure that no matter what issue you're having, you can find the answer there. Also, if you can't, then you pop into the forum and post your question and I'm sure that one of the knowledgeable uh, folks over there will be happy to respond. Now the desktop tab basically helps you with your desktop configuration. As you can see you can configure it's pretty self-explanatory uh, but it's very very helpful and it just fits in with the normal the uh, overall theme of Linux Lite which is simplicity. The software uh, tab brings up all of your uh, software sources. Uh, you can install and remove. You can upgrade your Linux Lite distro. Uh, you can update your software. And that brings me to the Lite software. Now this is a feature that you don't see very often. I'm going to click on that. Need to enter your password. And it's going to update basically this is like doing a uh, sudo app get up update so it's updating all of the packages and it'll let me know if I have any uh, uh, updates to make but in this case this this Linux Lite software uh, link on the software tab gives you the option to install software remove software and of course there's an exit we're going to take a look at install software because I think this is unique. Uh, not many distributions. I've seen a few that have something similar, but Linux Lite has really gone above and beyond. If you take a look at all of the categories of software that you can install with just a click, all you do is check off the ones that you want to install. And before you do this, I would recommend if you if you do install Linux Lite, I would recommend that you update your software, your software packages using your normal update link. So if you go through your updates and install all of the updates first thing after installation, then uh, you'll be happy because um, as you can see, I have some updates to install, and I'm going to hold off on that. Okay, so once you install all your updates, then you'll come into this. Uh, it's called Light Software, and you can just check off the ones that you want to install. Now you can see that I've already installed multiple packages. Uh, Cody, it's got pretty much everything that you need. Chrome, Chromium, Apple Trailers Plugin, Dropbox. It's got Pigeon. It's got a device manager for your iDevices. It's got uh, Cody, as I mentioned, a great media center. It's got Clementine for playing your music, a password manager, Play on Linux and Steam for gaming, Skype. You've got the uh, restricted extras, which is always important to install for your, your audio and video codecs. Uh, you can uh, install torrent software, team viewer, uh, there's another secure browser, it's a privacy browser, Tor web browser, uh, OpenShot video editing software, VirtualBox, there's a weather monitor that can install into your system tray, GUVC view for webcam software, and Wine which um, I always install because there's always something that uh, from Windows that you may need to uh, to utilize. So as you can see this is extremely helpful. I'm going to cancel out of that and cancel out of that. Okay so that covers your software, hardware, you can install drivers, configure your power management, look at your removable drives, configure your printer, pretty much anything hardware related would be on that tab. Network, you can look at your networks, browse your networks, and review your network connections. And then as far as system, 
pretty much anything you need to access to uh, to uh, modify or improve your system is here. You can partition your drives with Gparted. As I said, there's a light upgrade feature, language support, file manager. You can disable the auto login, accessibility features, uh, light tweaks. Let's check that out. Light tweaks, basically, these are all of the tasks that you do on a on a uh, on a regular basis to maintain your system. So this is uh, to clean out the your various cache files, fix your boot up, um, Chromium cache. You can clean that. Set your default web browser. Change your host name. Remove any kernels that you're no longer wishing to boot from. Uh, it can delete all your log ar archives package cache it, you can repair your system your package system so if your app get or your package system gets uh, a little funky if you get any error messages you can come over here and repair the system uh, any residual configuration files so if you've deleted programs that had configuration files within your system you don't need those any longer once the program is deleted this will, this will analyze your system, identify the configuration files that are no longer needed, and delete them. Uh, and then your Whisker menu, you can remove the 10 recently used items, which is it's configured to remember the last 10 items that you've used. So basically, all you do is check off what you want, and then click Begin. So wonderful, wonderful. And as I said, Linux Lite, Jerry and the folks over at Linux Lite, They've done a fantastic job. Uh, they've spared no expense. They've left no stone unturned in their attempt to make this uh, one of the elite day-to-day -day desktop Linux distributions. Absolutely fantastic. So that's the Linux Lite Control Center and a few other unique features. Now, everything this this is a beta as I mentioned but everything is working fine uh, the stability is there haven't had any issues at all uh, I think it's a, a fine distribution it really deserves your uh, consideration if you are looking for something to make the switch from Windows and you, you want a day-to-day uh, -to -day desktop environment that you can feel comfortable with this is the one I highly recommend it. If you have any questions concerning Linux Lite, leave them in the comments section. Uh, if you feel the video has helped, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a regular viewer. So that's about it, guys. I'll be back uh, within a day or so with a few other videos and then we'll just build on it one at, one at a time. Glad to have you aboard. See you soon. Take care.